Teaching morality versus teaching authority. It is commonly held that unless children are taught to respect and obey authority, they will be like wild animals, stealing, assaulting, and so on. But being obedient in and of itself merely means that instead of the individual using his own judgment, he will defer to the judgment of those who seek and acquire positions of power, some of the most immoral, corrupt, callacious, malicious, dishonest people on earth. Callous. Training people to be merely obedient only prevents animalistic behavior if the supposed authority does not itself condone and commit theft and assault as every government in history has done in the name of taxation and law enforcement. Obviously, teaching obedient does not, obedience does not help civilization if those giving the orders are commanding the very behaviors which, ha which harm society, acts of aggression against innocence. The idea that widespread subservience is good for society rests upon the patently false assumption that people in positions of power are morally superior to everyone else. It should be self-evident that having most people disregard their own consciences instead of entrusting politicians to make their choices for them, it is not going to make society any safer or more virtuous. Instead, it will simply legitimize the very acts that interfere with peaceful human coexistence. Consider the analogy of a robot, which is programmed to do whatever the owner tells it to, whether productive or destructive, whether civilized or aggressive. This is akin to a child learning to respect authority, whether the obedient robot or child ends up being a tool for destruction and oppression depends entirely upon who gives the orders. If instead, children are taught the principle of self-ownership, the idea that every individual belongs to himself and therefore should not be robbed, threatened, assaulted, or murdered, then the supposed virtue of obedience is completely unnecessary. Consider which of the following is more likely to lead to a just, peaceful society. Billions of people being taught the basics of how to be moral human beings, example, the principle of non-aggression, or billions of people being taught merely to obey in hopes that the few people who end up in charge will happen to give good orders. If there's any difficulty imagining what would happen in the two scenarios, one need only look to history to see what has happened. Even randomly selected rulers, when given permission to forcibly control everyone else, will quickly be corrupted and will become tyrants. But average decent people are usually already narcissists. The ones who, by, by average, decent people are not the ones who desire power over others. The ones who seek and obtain power are usually already narcissists and megalomaniacs. People with a never-ending lust for power who love the idea of dominating others. And the desire for domination is never driven by a desire to help those who are being dominated, but always by a desire to empower the controller at the expense of those whom he controls. Yet, People continue to echo the claim that the average person, if guided purely by his own conscience, would be less trustworthy, less civilized, and less moral than if he set aside his own conscience and just blindly does whatever the tyrants of the world tell him to do. If each person relied on his own judgment, that would by definition be anarchy, while widespread disobedience to authoritarian tyrants by definition, constitutes law and order. Note the drastic contrast between the usual connotations of the terms anarchy, sounding scary and violent, law and order, sounding civilized and just, and the real world results in following conscience versus following rulers. The level of evil committed by individuals acting on their own is completely dwarfed by the level of evil committed by people obeying a perceived authority. Though many imagine teaching obedience to authority to be synonymous with teaching right and wrong, the two are actually opposites. Teaching children to respect the rights of every human being and teaching them that committing aggression is inherently wrong is very important. 
but teaching them that obedience is a virtue and that respecting authority is a moral imperative will make them grow up to either advocate widespread large-scale aggression or to participate in widespread large-scale aggression. To advocate or participate in widespread large-scale aggression. Every statist does one or the other or both. In fact, teaching obedience dramatically hinders the social and mental development of children after having grown up in a situation where they were controlled by others, rewarded for obedience, and punished for disobedience. If they ever escape that situation, they will have had little or no training and little or no experience or practice in how to think and act from morals and principles. Having never exercised their individual judgment and personal responsibility, knowing only how to do as they were told, they will be like trained monkeys that have escaped, but that have no way to cope with life, with a life of freedom. If their upbringings have been molded mainly by controlling authority figures, people become existentially lost if that control vanishes. In short, people trained to obey authority do not know how to be independent, sovereign, responsible human beings because all their lives they have been intentionally and specifically trained not to follow their own conscience and not to use their own judgment. So the, the indoctrinated, when they escape one institutionalized control setting, school, hallucinate another authority to take its place, government. The escape monkeys simply build a new cage and eagerly jump in, into it because that is all they know and all they ever have known. In a world without the authority myth, on the other hand, children could be taught to be moral instead of merely obedient. They could be taught to respect people instead of respecting the inhumane, violent monster called government. They could be taught that it is up to them not only to do the right thing, but to figure out what the right thing is. As a result, they could grow up to be responsible, thinking, useful adults, members of peaceful and productive communities, instead of growing up to be little more than cattle on the farms of tyrants.